हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ मैथ्स आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड लर्निंग वेल थ्रू दिस वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टॉपिक मल्टीप्लीकेशन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस लिटिल फिश देयर आर फोर फिश बोल्स there are two fish in each bowl to get the total number of fish we add the number of fish in all of bowls that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 8 there are eight fish in all here we repeatedly added Two, four times. This is called multiplication operation or multiplication fact. Multiplication is a repeated addition. We can do this multiplication operation is an easy way. Let's see how. There are four fish bowls. Each bowl has two fish in it. Now, four times two is. Eight. So there are eight fish in all. Let us use the multiplication symbol to write the statement. This is called multiplication sentence. It can be read as four multiplied by two is equal to eight. Four times two is eight, or four twos are eight. Now look at another example. There are three bird houses. There are five birds in each bird house. How many birds are there in all? To get the total number of birds, we add the number of birds in all the three bird houses. That is five. Plus five plus five is equal to fifteen. That is three times five is fifteen. Using the multiplication sign, we write it as three multiplied by five is equal to fifteen. So there are fifteen bars in all. Now let's. Look at the ways to write multiplication. This is called horizontal multiplication. This is called vertical multiplication. Let's look at one more example. There are two leaves. There are five ladybugs on each leaf. How many ladybugs are there in all? Here, by adding We get five plus five is equal to ten, and by multiplying, we get two multiplied by five is equal to ten. Hence, there are ten ladybugs in all. Next, listen, students. As you know, we can directly multiply the numbers with the help of the table, but If you learn tables correctly, now look at the four bowls. There are eight red apples in each. How many apples are there in all? The answer can be found by multiplying four and eight. Thus, four into eight is equal to. Thirty-two. So there are thirty-two apples in all. Okay, students. I hope all of you understood these multiplication stories with one-digit numbers by one-digit. Very easy. So students, keep on practicing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.